Greetings and welcome back everyone to AAA Factorio with myself, Arumba. Hey. And <laughs> Ace Joe. Hey, Steve. Oh, good job, everybody. <laughs> well, I just, I was, I'm already focused. I'm already thinking, like, what, what am I building next? It's in the zone, to be fair. Uh, that's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'm oh, supposed to talk here. Uh, yeah, I was, right. I was going to say, you, you'll need to, like, put that out one, but you've got it now, so. Yeah. yeah. It's not the same, you know? I, you, you always, I have a rough memory of, like, how I've done it before and it worked well, but. It's not the same. Yeah. Oh well. The output from this is going to be quite nice. It works. That's what's important. And eventually we can maybe set up a train station and it can be anywhere. And we can just set it up so that these fuel, these uh, raw resource lines are mm -hmm. permanent. Permanent inputs. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be a problem. Now, that, that's one thing. Do you tend to um, smelt at the mining outpost, or do you bring back the ore and smelt at a single centralized smelting facility? Me, it's usually a centralized smelting. Yeah, I bring back the ore, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio anyway, so... Yeah. Unless you play with the mods that I use last, which actually allow you to compress ore. Which is kind of really? cool. Ah. cool. You can it's compress kind of like 50 ore down into one item. And then you can have stacks of 200 of it. So that's yeah. pretty cool. That's yeah. actually really cool, yeah. Completely removes but the need for trains, which is unfortunate. Yeah, trains are trains are probably one of the the more enjoyable aspects of Factorio. The raw qual of Factorio. Yeah. Oh man, I love my raw qual. So you guys are just oh, like actually, running around. Why don't you do go do something? I just I'm watching the fantastic. I'm this. <laughs> I've had enough of your your crazy, enormous smelting facility. I'm it's... going back to my beautifully walled-in turrets with their protected lights. But we need more furnaces. We're about to go crazy. On production. That's true. Need more furnaces? Oh. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Why didn't you say so? We need more steel oh, furnaces. No. Oh no! It's your poor. See, oh, so how do you factor how do you factor steel into what you've got? Well, you can you can That's create point, you can create another whole like furnace chain that just does steel, or you can create like halfway through you can like do something like this. If you're over here, I can show you. Oh, where is the stone? Someone said we had stone stockpile, just regular raw stone. I've got loads on me. I can dump it into a chest if you want. Oh, yeah, just for making some more furnaces. Um, oh, I, okay. I have plenty of actual furnaces. I just meant I need to place them. Oh, okay. Never mind that. We have oh. no signs happening. Why do we have no signs happening? Because Alex everyone fault. is focused on making the raw resources. Um, well, sorry, the, the refined resources, but not at all of leading it back to the signs. We're going to yeah. need to move the science somewhere else. Yeah, it's yeah. temporary. And we also need to uh, look at how we're going to be setting up the main bus that's actually going to be carrying these resources around. Yeah, I, I think it's time for Stijo to go build a main bus. Like, go. So, Stijo, this is what I mean. Like, you, you can do something like this where you just kind of convert half of the furnace chain, change the raw resource from iron ore to iron plate. Yeah, and yeah, then. I see. Or you can double it back, or you can you can do another one on the opposite side, like like over here. It, there's all kinds of ways that you can fit steel in, but I don't know. I just like I was, having... I was just I was just wondering to see if you had like a very specific thing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, but I also find sometimes it's just easier to make the steel locally for stuff off the main bus because you usually yeah, don't even just... need that much. Yeah, but everything needs a little yeah. bit, so. Now, as I haven't played with you guys before, um, how do you usually approach like making things like gears and copper wire? Because when I'm making my own factories, I usually just have a huge section that's just producing that that I can just expand over time, and that joins the main bus. See, I don't, I don't ever put gears or copper wires onto the main bus. Well, I say I don't ever. I bet there's footage out there of me doing it, but <laughs> yeah. just in before. Um, but yeah, like because it's just for copper wire. It's just a factory that yeah, makes copper,
not super advanced end goods, but the sort of intermediary goods. Um, Gears goods. and copper wire are a, a, a poor example because they are literally just steel. Uh, sorry, uh, iron or copper, which you, yeah. you have in enormous quantities wherever you want to use it. But um, green circuits, red yeah. circuits, anything, pretty much everything beyond copper. Uh, why and gears? Why I pick them as the example is is kind of painful, but well, I tend to as generally green circuits, red circuits, plastic bars, batteries, and that's the only produced goods that go onto my my main bus. Okay. So right, where are we making this? I don't know. First off, I'm going to go and steal a load of Varumba's transport belt. My transport belt. It's our well, transport it's belt. It's going to be mine in a second. It's teamwork. Caesar doesn't understand this teamwork. No, well, foreign concept. He does, however, understand killing people while they sleep. Yes, very good at that. Well acquainted with this idea. <laughs> and stealing all your stuff. Even when the rules of the service expressly say no, 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 no. Naughty Steejo. Less Is rules, it? more guidelines? <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I just interpreted that law about not murdering people as, as, as more of a situational guideline, really. Yeah. Basically, if I really wanted to kill them, I assumed it didn't apply. The other thing that's kind of nice about this furnace layout is that if you change the buffer chests to logistic chests, then everything is just already part of the network. Yeah. Oh, uh, right, that, that's actually a really good idea. Yep, I like that. Yeah. All right, okay, so we've got our electronics. What are we going to be working on next? Ooh, could probably go for steel furnaces. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, we don't we have, have steel an, furnaces? We don't have green signs yet, though, do we? We need. We really need this bus, DJ. What's happening? Yes, um, we're just waiting on it. I'm at the bus stop just now. Oh, right, okay. I, I, <laughs> I understand that well. So it's just the same with any bus. I mean, you wait and you wait and you wait, and then all of a sudden there's four of them. I would be fairly impressed if I look away for a moment and then look back and there are four buses already built. And you know, <laughs> I would I would have to applaud your efficiency at that point. I'll be honest. Oh God, I've got no iron plate. <laughs> you stood right next to the whole area where they smelted. Right, I'm gonna go and add some more uh, boilers just because I can. And because this isn't finished yet, and it's kind of making my brain itch. Is it? Is it making you suffer brain damage? No, no, just brain itching. It's 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 kind of a mild, it's something you can live with. It, it repairs itself in time. Okay. Just like your liver. <laughs> okay. What is our power like at the moment? How much are we producing? So you feel like eight furnaces is going to be sufficient for now? Our production is like about 300 iron plate per minute. Uh, 16 furnaces, surely. What's the one to bring that up? To the, your production per minute? P, I think, for... P. Uh, P. Yeah, there we are. Fantastic. Well, surely you should have 16 furnaces. I mean, I, that would be fine, but that kind of does require the center line to be upgraded. If we're gonna upgrade yeah. them all to steel, like if we if these be all become steel furnaces, then eight's pretty pretty good for the transport belt we're using right now. Yeah, I, I think Ooh. I think what yeah. we've got right now is fine. Yeah, eight either side. Yeah, my bad. That's yeah. what I was meaning. I was just derping out. Yeah, sixteen. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, sixteen if it's both sides, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that right. case, um. This is a lot of space we've got down here. Yep. Exactly. It's a good call by Rumba to uh, set up here instead of further away. Yeah, I like the forest to avoid pollution, but at the same time, I really like big, big Not open spaces. To spend ages killing the forest when you want to expand. Mm hmm. That's always kind of annoying. Right, we shouldn't need right, to so expand our power for quite a while. So if we use this as the beginning of our main bus. Okay. This left hand side. 
Right, okay. God damn you. No, that other one was the beginning. Stupid transport belt didn't get the memo. Where's the nearest fighter base? Just over there. You know what? I'm going to build a shotgun and then a bunch of. Ooh, not quite that many coverages. I'm really looking forward to this thing being on Steam. This is going to be a great release for them, I think. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Such the, a good uh, game. Just Steam Workshop integration. Oh, yeah. that would make modding so much better than it currently is. Yeah. Current modding is kind of... It's painful, let's be honest. It's kind of like with the way that it is with like Paradox Interactive. Like having to go into the forums just to download a mod. And then there's no real compatibility at all. Yeah. Like, a lot of mods you can run together, but... So what are you thinking here, Anesthesia? I'm thinking... Iron... Iron, then copper, then red circuits at the bottom, green circuits at the top. Then there's enough space if we want to put um, any chemicals, or if we want to pipe anything in between them as well. Steel plastic? Well, if, if you want. Well, that's like, there's extra space to put extra rows in if we need it anyway. Yeah, that's true. Actually, we can just add them further on the outside. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, you're building down wow. towards the main bus. Okay. Am I, am I doing it wrong? I'm sorry. No? <clears throat> this was, um, I was just planning on having another furnace column for, uh, for steel production, if we want. Noticing it. that our copper production is starting to get a little bit sketchy, we probably want a few more mines. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah the furnaces. I'll go take care of that now. Are, I think are higher capacity than the smelting is right now. The actual mining. That's what's nice about this is that because the furnaces always run at full speed, you can see very easily where your shortfall is. Whether it's yeah, yeah. I like that because we're actually accruing a pretty good surplus of iron while we're waiting on this main bus getting created. Mm -hmm. About to get myself some armor, fantastic. Uh, waiting on all these circuits being made! Right, so the first thing we're going to want will be probably circuit production. Yes. Basically, we want to try and automate at least up to green science pretty much straight away. Blue science is kind of an art, really. But at least up to green, it's it's pretty standard fare. Don't you have a a really good layout for blue science, Arumba? Me? Uh, no. No. Or was it green science? You had you had a really good one in the. The yeah, last series. for green it's easy, but for blue it's just a blue matter. Of, a you little know, bit more complicated. Like yeah. like Avex said, it's an art. You've got pipes and transport belt going everywhere, yeah. and, and and eventually you end up with science. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> more or less, yeah. I usually use loops heavily with, once I get to blue, and up until then I don't really use loops much for science at all, except around the actual lab, but. Uh, by the time you get to blue, you're looking at something that gets really quite complicated, really, really fast, because it, it's like exponential complexity growth by the time you get to blue. Yeah. Oh, Ernest, you turn up here. Have you not seen this before? No. Oh, that's right, if you've only watched my latest series, then you won't have seen this. Oh, I see. I thought you were going to be doing something weird about passing something down through the middle there, but uh, I see what you've done. Uh, that's quite cool. Right, and then power in the middle. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I like it. Yep, it's lovely. That's it probably came from some forum user or something like that. Are See, I don't circuits? do enough of that. I don't actually go on the forums enough and learn what the super efficient stuff that people have found because part of the game for me is, is just discovering it myself. But 
every now and then I'll come across something like this. I'm like, my God, it's full of stars. <laughs> I've got a fantastic one that someone sent me for uh, doing all the different transport belts, which is just amazing. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Well, actually, the transport belts, like the insert, is a fairly easy. They, they just uh, like the insert is a stupid easy. Each one just feeds into the last, and you add one extra component. So going off the main bus is is trivially easy. Oh, I see. I was wondering what you were doing there. I don't remember actually. Right, I'm gonna go off and we're gonna find some more bases to destroy. You're gonna destroy um, robot? Like you mean biters? Yeah. Ah. Huh. Well, um, I suppose. Well, I mean, there's the steel up here. Oh, sorry, iron. I'm I'm always going to be calling that steel, by the way. Um, or we can just wipe out because our pollution is starting to overcome the forest over there, and I'm fairly certain that possibly once we start making things on the main bus, that's just going to start pulling things down. I mean, I could just set up some defenses, I suppose. In fact, yeah, why not? I wish biters dropped things, because then you could grind them. Grind <laughs> them for what, experience? <laughs> no, but like drops. If the biters themselves, for yeah. example, carried some sort of uh, purple signs, then there'd, there'd be an incentive for me not to destroy their base. If I had a particularly well uh, set up defensive structure, then I could just let them continually hurl themselves at my defenses. Get yourself a little biter farm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm terrible for that in things like Minecraft and things. I, I just I, I have to automate everything, including killing mobs. Well, that's the only interesting thing about Minecraft to me <laughs> yeah. is like the automation of everything and just the exact same as this game. It's why this game appeals to me so much. It's just being able to automate even the most mundane of things. Uh, we, we've got advanced material processing queued, and we have no science. Like, why don't we? We should really get science yeah. started. What, Tito, with a bus? The bus is really like I'm, you're I'm slow. Picking <laughs> stuff up. Poor old Stejo. Make the bus. It's, uh, it's a rumba. He's a, he's a vicious taskmaster. I know, but it's justifiable. Just I don't suppose. annoy him, otherwise he might get the whip. I'm not sure what you're doing over here, Arumba, and I'm sure that at some point it's going to require and necessitate some changes, but uh, I'm just carrying out some power right here and you can just do whatever you want later on if you need to change it. Well, based on where Stijo put that main bus, I'm actually redirecting the outputs west instead of east. Ah, cool. Okay, well, that's fine then. Um, I'm just trying to predict where these biters are going to come in and attack. Well, actually, we could probably just set it up right here next to the coal and move it mm. later on if need be. Now, the thing is... Um, you know what? Let me... Uh, I'm going to set up just some automation, just a, like large-scale automation for the ammo, because we're going to use lots of it. There's, there's no two ways about it. We're going to yeah. go through that stupid fast, so I'm just going to grab a bunch and start making that. Ammo is one of those things I usually skip. Cause I, I usually really? Just, yeah, I go straight for lasers. Straight for lasers and distractor bots. Yep. Well, I, the th reason why I usually have ammo is, A, I, well, I, I never use distractor bots, which is probably the biggest thing. Um, but uh, I often have regular ammo as a backup in case the biters manage to damage something by carrying power out to my outposts. I always have the outposts having their own little gun supply. All right. Just so that in if a brownout happens because I've expanded the base too much just at the wrong time and a biter comes along, then my sort of like my fire base is have like a, a, a secondary weapon system conventional weapons hmm doesn't do too badly generally one thing I really dislike though and this is something that's bugged me ever since I started playing this game is the way that uh, gun turrets 
are taller than they are wide. Yeah, you can't. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't but... even mind if they were two by two. Yeah, just so that they'd be symmetrical. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but laser turrets aren't. True. That's just strange. Just a strange design decision. It could just be the graphic. That they. No, no, the actual, no, no. The, the the actual box. Different. Yeah, the actual footprint on them. Wait, right, sure, but the. Like, notice how. Like, when they made the first initial graphic for the gun turret, they may have just made it that way and then it didn't. Oh, right, right. Rotate right. well, so they decided to. Yeah. Well, I assume. I'm, I'm assuming that this whole thing is copper, so. Yeah. Well, this is not pretty, CJO, but there's your copper. Oh, that's fine. Thanks. You had lots of bends. Bendy Wendy. Oh, well, I think you. Yeah, no, that's right. Right, well, on that note, now that Steve Show has actually got a, a main bus going, and we've even got some basic uh, manufacturing of green circuits, uh, I think it's a good place for us to wrap up. So thank you everyone for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the episode and we'll be joining us for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.